Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about adding a left-right sub-fill for a guest engineer to come through your board for outputting to your PA. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. Also, if you're interested in diving deeper into audio and learning more, I have a weekly newsletter that I have at audiotoolkit.co that I send out a weekly newsletter on getting better at engineering and mixing. So go check that out. But let's go ahead and dive in. So I have a very basic scene here uh, for my wing. So I just have a, a normal band and I am wanting to set up a left-right sub fill for outputting to my PA through the matrix section. But then I also have a guest engineer that is going to be plugging into my console and feeding the PA. But I'm wanting to feed the PA through my console because my console is the main console and the guest engineer that's coming in has his own setup, but I'm wanting to feed him to the PA through the wing. So what I'm going to first do is set up my matrix section for a left, right, sub, and a fill. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and name these. I'm gonna to go to my matrix section and I'm going to name this. So I'm gonna call this main left, right. And then I'm going to call this one sub and I'm going to call this one fill. Okay, so we have main left, right, we have our sub and we have our fill. The next thing that we need to do is we need to turn these up and we need to get these routed. So I'm gonna have these up at zero here. So then for my routing, I'm going to go to my outputs and I'm going to go to my AES50A and we are going to pull from my matrix section. And so on my AES50A, I'm gonna start at one here and I'm going to go for my main left, right, left, main left, right, right, we have our sub and we have our fill. The next thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that I have my sub and my fill set as mono because these matrix sections of the Behringer wing are stereo. So there's a left and a right. But if we're wanting to actually have it be a sum of mono, there's one setting that we have to do inside of the matrix. So we can go ahead and select our matrix, hit the home button. On this next tab down, we have the ability of making it mono. So we can mono our subs and we can mono our fills. So left, right is for the main PA that's flown. Our subs are for our subwoofers. And then fill is for our front fills. Now, if we wanted to add some delays, we definitely could on Matrix 4. Uh, but this particular show, I don't have any delays. I just have the left, right, the sub, and the fill. Now, I need to get my audio routed to this matrix, and all of my audio is going to my main left right on main one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my main left right on main one, and I'm going to go send it to my matrix section. So I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to turn up my main to zero, and we're gonna send my sub at zero and my fills at zero. Now, if I had a aux fed sub, so for instance, if I was using one of my auxiliary channels to mix my sub, I can go ahead and do that. So if we go to our bus masters here and say my bus eight was my subwoofer, then what I can do is I can actually send this to my sub. So I can just go ahead and turn this up to zero. And now this is my subwoofer send that I'm mixing from the channels. Now, if we were doing this, then we would want it to go back to our main left, right, and turn off our sub send. So now we have our main left, right as being our main left, right, and our fills, and then bus eight as our subs. But I'm not going to be mixing this show in a aux fed sub, so I am still going to send all of my audio through my main bus one into my matrix on one, two, and three. Now, one thing that we can do on our mains here is we can do a little bit of EQ. So if we select our main left, right, and we go to our EQ section and turn this on, if we go to settings, we can actually set our crossover filters. So I can do a LR24, and then I can go to my subs, and I can go to my settings and set the high band to an LR24. Turn this on. I'm going to set this frequency down at 100. 100.2, and then on my mains, I'm going to set this at 100.2 as well. And then on my front fills, I definitely don't need any audio going for the subs on this. 
So I am also going to do a roll off on the low end set to 100 as well. So now we have our main left right, which is 100 and up. We have our subs, which is 100 and lower. And then we have our fills, which is 100 and up. Now, I can now send my audio to my main left right, and then that goes to my matrix section. So that is all set and ready to go from right now. But I now have the guest engineer that has his console, and he has a left, a right, a sub, and a fill that needs to plug into my console here. So I'm actually going to utilize my local inputs on the back of the Behringer wing, because my band is plugging into my AES-50, and I have the guest engineer to my left or to my right, and I'm just going to run four XLRs from the output of his console into the local inputs on my console here. So let's go ahead and set that up first. So I'm going to go to routing. I'm then going to go to sources, and I'm going to select my local in. And my local in one, we are going to give this a name, and this is going to be guest. Let's give a little bit of title here. So guest left right. And then the next channel is going to be guest sub. And then the next channel is going to be, sorry, this needs to be stereo, my bad. So I'm going to set this to stereo. And then my third one, this one is going to be guest sub. And then my last channel is guest fill. So we can see that I have a stereo set for my left and right here on inputs one and two. My local three is going to be mono. My local four is going to be mono. So I'm now going to route these to some channels. So I'm going to put my guest engineer on my 37, 38, and 39 right here. So to do this, I'm going to go to my channels. I'm going to pull up my routing from local in, and I'm going to go ahead and select 37, and I'm going to select my guest left right, and then because I have plus one here, I'm going to then just go and select my sub and my fill. So now we can see that I have guest left, right, guest sub, guest fill on my channels 37 through 39. So now I can go and select these guys. And if I was wanting to, I could go ahead and give this a color. So I'll go ahead and do green and I'll make it a little mixer and green, make it a little mixer. There we go. So we have my guest left, right, guest sub, guest fill. Now. If I don't trust this guy and I'm wanting to put a compressor on him uh, as a limiter, then I can. So we can go and turn on our compression here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this to a 10 to 1 limiter. And I'm going to set this at negative 8. So that means that if his channel is getting up into the negative 8 section, then I'm going to have a limiter set on this. Now, you'd have to definitely talk to him and tell him that you are going to have a limiter if you like him, or if you don't, don't even mention it to him, and that's your discretion. So now that I have this compressor set up here, I have a 10 to 1 ratio, thresholds at negative 8. Uh, I'm going to put my knee at 2, and then I have an attack of 10, hold of 1, and my release at 100. I have this set to peak and my auto envelope off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this over to my guest sub and my guest fill. So I'm going to go into tools and I'm going to select these two channels and I'm going to press copy. So now we have our guest left, right, guest sub, guest fill. Now, I don't want these channels going to my main left, right, because that's what my mix is for. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send these channels directly to the matrix. So to do this, I'm going to first select my guest left, right, and turn them off from the mains. And then my guest sub, same thing. My guest fill, same thing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn these up to zero and mute them for right now. Now I'm going to go back over to my matrix section and select my main left, right. I'm then going to go here, and we have the ability of sending a channel directly to the matrix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on. I'm then going to go find my guest left, right, and I'm going to select this as a post fader tab. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to zero. 
And so what this means is that now if my guest engineer starts playing audio and I unmute his channel, this channel is going to go directly to my matrix at zero dB, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna go do the same thing with sub. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on direct one and I'm going to select my guest sub as post fader. Turn this up to zero. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the fill. Turn on, go to my guest fill, make sure it's on post fader. Turn this up to zero. There we go. Ah, it's close enough. So now we have our guest left right being passed through the main. We have our guest sub being passed through to the main on the subs, and our guest fill is being sent to our fill as well. So we can see that my main left right, my sub, and my fill are all pulling from these channels. And because it's post fader, if I mute or unmute or turn up or down these three faders, that is the same thing as me going to his console and turning it up or down on his master. So I can now have the ability of controlling his volume, controlling his mute and unmute, and because this goes directly to my matrix, if I have these unmuted, I can be mixing my band. If I trust him, I can leave those unmuted. I can be mixing my band and then he can also be mixing his band in the same PA at the same time as me mixing. Just be careful with these unmuted, any sound that his console is making would be going through to your PA. Now this is one way of being able to set up your Behringer wing with another console and having your matrix sends for feeding your PA. A left, right, sub, fill is going to be the industry standard for any festivals, any touring musicians, anything like that that has a dedicated engineer. Chances are they're going to have a left, right feed, a sub feed, and a fill feed off of their console that they want to get into the PA. So this is one way of utilizing the Behringer wing for getting all of that set up. Now I hope this video was helpful for you today. If you do happen to have any questions, Questions, make sure to post those in the comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comments. Also, if there's a video that you're hoping that I would make on really any of the mixers that are out there, please post that in the comment section as I'm always looking for videos that are going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com where I have a full set of channel presets that are built in for the Behringer wing that you can simply just select a channel and you can go into your library and you can just go find what channel you want to load up. So if I had a baritone sax using a Audio-Technica Pro 35, I can go ahead and select my channel, select that, press load, and boom. Now I have my Barry sax ready to go with this microphone. So if you want to check that out, it's at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.